Today's reading is from Luke, chapter 1, verse 39 to 45, when Mary visits Elizabeth. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zachariah's house and greeted Elizabeth, his wife. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favoured that the Lord, the mother of my Lord, should come to me? As soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. That particular verse there, 45, is really personal to me. Because in 2008, when I was really ill in hospital, it took me by surprise, actually, how ill I, I had become. And I'd been reading the Bible, and God spoke to me really clearly one night. And he said, because you believe my word and you trust in me, the words I've said to you will be accomplished. I will renew your heart. And when your heart is renewed, it will be as though you never had the condition of cardiomyopathy. So as you can imagine, I've been really, I was really hanging on to that word. And I used to say when I was feeling quite poorly, I'd say, Lord, I believe that your word will be accomplished in me. Thank you for my new heart. And I say it now, I have a new heart. Thank you, Lord, for my new heart. Thank you, Lord, for keeping your promises. And I just encourage you to write down when God has given you a promise, because every time he speaks to you, that's a promise, because nothing he says is less than a promise, because he never goes back on his word. If you're feeling a bit discouraged one day or a bit low or a bit negative, get that word out or those words, make a list of them and read them and speak them out to yourself, speak them out into the world, speak them back to God, remind him of them, he doesn't mind, he hasn't forgotten them but he doesn't mind you bringing them back into his remembrance. So I just encourage you to do that and be blessed as you remember those promises that God's given to you. Amen. If you've been at all intrigued or interested by anything that you've just seen or heard, you might be interested to know that we're running an online Alpha course starting in January. An Alpha course is a series of films and then discussion where we look at the Christian faith and what it means. So if you'd love to come along, we'd love to see you.